Starring as Marion Kirby, the loveliest ghost in town, and Jeffrey. As George Kirby, the liveliest ghost in town, Robert Sterling. And Leo G. Carroll as Topper. Oh, yes, and the deadliest ghost, Neil. And there are only three people in the world who can see or hear them. You and I and Cosmo Topper. Cosmo? Yes, dear? Yes, sir. Why did you put up the badminton net in the patio? Badminton net? Why did you put it up? You didn't tell me to. I most certainly didn't. Then I couldn't have done it. Well, someone has strung a net in our patio, Cosmo. Probably the man from the fish market. Fish market? I understand there's been a big tuna run. Take it down before you go to the bank, Cosmo, and give it away or something. It belongs to the Kirby's. Yes, Marion? George? George? Marion? George, Marion. Hi. Hi, Chopper. Look here, you two ghosts have got to find your exercise elsewhere. Why? Well, Henrietta has ordered me to remove the net. Oh, forget Henrietta. Grab a racket and I'll play a game. What, me? Oh, no, no. Well, why not? Suppose someone should see us. Oh, Topper, you know no one can see us but you. Why, no one can even hear us. Come on! No, I, I really, I, I, I've never played in my life. That's just the trouble with you. Oh, no, please, Marion. Henrietta wants me to take in the net. You might play with Henrietta. Oh, hardly. Well, you still have us. Give me a racket, Marion. Well, it's, it's very kind of you, really. Hit but I, now, I, now, all you have I, to do is just, just hit it. What? See, hit it. Really? Is that all? Yeah. Just like this? Mr. Topper! What? Oh, just uh, swinging a bit. Swinging? Yeah, uh, all you do is just hit it. Yes, sir. Mrs. Topper wanted me to tell you that it's time to go to the bank. Oh, old oh, bank, yes. Yes. Yeah, of course the bank. Hit it back with your hand, George. Uh, oh, simple game, really. Yes. How do you do that all along? You have to do it alone when you're playing singles. Yes, sir. Cosmo! I have something to tell you, Cosmo. But what is it? I have no idea. Oh, of course you do, dear. You're always anticipating me. Now, what did I want? Buy something for you? I think that's close, but not it. Well, pick up a package, meet you for lunch. Oh, bring in the badminton net. That's it. Well, I, I didn't get round to it, dear. No, I wanted yeah. to tell you not to bother, dear. It won't be necessary. We're selling the house. What? Why? I've been thinking about it. The place is much too big for just the two of us. But there aren't just the two of us. It's... What do you mean? Well, well I mean, there's, there's Katie. Oh, well, I'm sure we can find a smaller place and still have plenty of room for Katie. Besides, you were so clever in getting a bargain on this house, we'll be able to sell it a profit. Have a nice day at the bank, dear. But uh, I don't want to sell this house. I, I like it here. Cosmo, if everyone took that attitude, your bank just wouldn't have much business, would it? Besides, I've already talked to a real estate agent. Have a nice day. George. That is. George. Fix you something, old boy? Oh, George. No, thanks. Where's Marion? Right here, darling. Join me. Uh, Marion. George. Uh, Neil. Oh, he's going to make a speech, George. Isn't that cute? I, uh, wish to preface. 
what I have to say by uh, remarking that... Uh, a little more risk. Hmm? Oh, Madeline, please. Um, I, by remarking that all the time we've had together, I mean, sharing this house together, I, well, I, I've become very fond of you both. Uh, oh, all three of you. Oh, thank you. We like you, too. Uh, therefore, I, I find it rather difficult to have to explain to you that, uh, well, uh, what I, I'm trying to say is that Henrietta's selling the house. Ah. Well, well, can't you say something? You hate us. No, no. You're, you're both, well, you're, you're different. That's right. Throw it up to us. Can we help it if we got knocked off in the flower of our youth? We were assigned to you. We can't haul on anyone else. No, no, that, that isn't what I mean. I mean, well, Henrietta doesn't know about you. He's taking her side. He does hate her. Loathing is written all over his face. Will you stop saying that? I don't hate you. But if you can suggest something that I should do, I'll do it. Anything at all. Tell Henrietta she can't sell. Well, suggest something else. All right. All right. Now that we know your attitude. Well, now, wait a minute. Can't we discuss this sensibly? Sell our house, will you? It's not your house. It's my house, and I... You want war? Okay, it's war. George, Marion, stop that. George. Oh, Marion, please. Oh, please, let's be sensible. George. George, please. Oh, George, do please listen. Uh, Neil. Uh, Mr. Topper. Uh, uh, we're selling the house, Katie. Yes, sir. I'm just throwing a few of our things together. What do you want? Is that any way to greet us? Frankly, no. I'm being too nice. Oh, we've come to tell you it's all right to sell the house. Oh, you have, have you? Sure, you lend us the money and we'll buy it. Clever? Oh, you're insane. <laughs> What's the matter? Lend you the money? Of course. Well, it's preposterous. Why? Well, you, you have no income. Well, that's true. But we have no expenses either. He's got you there, Topper, darling. Now you fill out the loan application. Marion, George, this bank simply cannot lend money to, well, ghosts. Oh, discrimination, eh? Oh, don't be <laughs> stuffy, Toppy. If you don't lend us the money... Well? Oh, we can always take it. Marion! Very determined woman, Marion. She's just... Bluffing. I'm not worried at all. No? Should I be? Well, women take to crime more easily than men, you know. Closer to the jungle. <laughs> Nonsense. Especially when the home is threatened. Nesting instinct. Banking is a very serious business. You can't just throw money around like a... like a... Here's the first payment. Madeline, put that back at once. They didn't even miss it. There's stacks of it around. Really? How long has this been going on? Now, wait. George, you stay right there. Madeline, put that back where you found it at once. Only if you tell Henrietta not to sell the house. I will not submit to blackmail. Come on to the ball, George. It's fun. George! Madeline, George! Marion, George? What are you talking about? Oh, uh... The new filing clerk. She's marrying George. Our old paying color. There's nothing wrong, is there? No, no nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh, I just thought you looked a little nervous. Here's a fresh loan, Topper, and it ain't hay. No. No, no what? 
I said, no, I, I, I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous at all. Oh. Catch, Topper. Amazing how far it's out. By the way, Topper. What was that? Hmm? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, he says. $9,000 and one. Oh, oh, uh, by the way, uh, I was just going to say that uh, uh, Mrs. Kyle and I'd like to have you and Mrs. Topper come for dinner some... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, and, uh... Uh, Topper, didn't I see you just, uh... uh I must get glasses, that. Uh. Still gonna let Henrietta sell the house, Topper? Uh... We're about, uh, about, uh, the dinner next, uh, week someday. The house, Topper? Uh, anything you say. Only get out of here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, well, we'll, uh, we'll expect you. It's <clears throat> a fine way to accept an invitation. <laughs> You're a hard man to shave, Topper. You promised, Topper. Now put your foot down. The house is not for sale. Not for sale. Be forceful. Forceful. And you're doing it merely because you love us. Say it. I'm doing it because I love you. Why, you sweet thing. <laughs> uh. Cosmo, how nice to see you. Cosmo, dear, this is Colonel Newby. He came to see about the house. Tell her. Not yet. But he's already seen it. Mr. Topper, I presume? Uh, tell her. Uh, Henrietta, um, uh, I've, um, I've just reached a conclusion. Yes, Cosmo? This house is not for sale. Of course it isn't. What? Colonel Newby just bought it. Oh, no. You stay right here, rent-free, till you find a place. Then I take possession. Wasn't that clever of me, Cosmo? Mighty fine little woman you have here, Topper. <laughs> Good head. Good head. I've seen better heads than a mug of beer. <laughs> Good material. Goodbye, Colonel. Do something, Topper. And it's wonderful, Cosmo. And he gave me a very large check of down payment. She has it in her hand, Topper. Tear it up. Uh, I couldn't do that. Do what, dear? Tear it up. Put your foot down. But, Cosmo, what on earth are you doing? I've just put my foot down, that's all. I'm the man in this house, am I not? Well, of course you are, dear. But why are you tearing up my grocery list? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, started, uh, I'm hungry. Not only does he sell our house, he begrudges us a morsel of food. Here, Neil. Don't juggle your food, Cosmo. No, dear. I think I'll stop house hunting tomorrow, Cosmo. You do answer that, Kitty. Yes, sir. But there's nothing the matter with this house. We sold it, don't you remember? Yes, I remember. And I don't think we should have before we... I wish you'd stop harping on it, Cosmo. After all, I got a good price. We don't have to pay any rent, and but we have all the time we want. Oh, this isn't an intrusion. Thought I could stay at a hotel, but there's a convention in town. Couldn't get quarters. Uh, why, we don't mind at all, do we, Cosmo? After all, this is your house. Uh, take Colonel Newby's bag, dear. Uh, and, uh, Katie, uh, set another place at the table. Yes, ma'am. I'm warning you, Topper. We're not going to stand for this. The husband has very poor posture, ma'am. What can I do about it? Suck it in, man. Suck it in. Uh, would you uh, get the door, Katie? Yes, ma'am. Right down there, Topper. Plenty of room. Well, set a good mess here. Uh, I hope you folks don't mind, Terry. Ah. Did the Colonel explain about the hotels and all? Dinner's marvelous. I'm simply famished. Miss Topper, Mrs. Newby. Uh, how do you do? Uh, would you set another place? Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, I'll get it. Orville, Arabelle, this is Mrs. Topper. Oh. 
and Mr. Topper. They may be staying with us for a few days. How do you do? KK. Yes, ma'am, I know. Two more plates. We've been invaded. Locus. Arabelle, aren't we forgetting our manners? As a retired military family, Mrs. Topper, we have certain little formalities. <laughs> and I wish you to look upon this as a purely temporary situation. Uh, things will straighten out shortly. That may be true, sir. But I didn't sign up to cook for the army. Well, now, now please, be, be patient. Just for a day or two, will you? I don't know. Oh, now, please. Well, all right. Oh. Good. They have the strength to materialize. I know. <clears throat> they're, uh, they're not around, are they? Out on maneuvering. Watch your outfit, Tom Pace! I feel as if I were being spied upon. No, Neil. Not now. Fine mess you made of things, Topper. Look here, Marion. The whole idea of selling this house was Henrietta's. Who thought of it? She did. Mm -hmm. And who let her go through with it? Oh, I did. Mm -hmm. Look, what happened when we had a cook we didn't like? A few manifestations. A few pieces of furniture floating around by themselves. Out she went. <laughs> I do, George, you know that's right. Very simple problem, really. All we have to do is convince the newbies that the house is, well, haunted. As a matter of fact, it is. Good thinking. After dinner tonight, I appear. Stir things up a bit. Terrify the new owners and they demand their money back. Capital. Maybe. Why, it's got to work. <laughs> Not now, Neil. But soon. Come sit down, dear. Don't slouch, man. use all the hot water. Orville, will you stop that? Orville? What's the matter? You know very well what's the matter. Stop it. But, but the... Well, he does magic tricks. Orville, show us the topper. Magic tricks? You got a hat? Huh? Uh, oh, yes, good. Yes. It's very 
you haven't done the trick yet, dear. Oh, Mister. Well, I shall now proceed to pour water in the hat without getting the hat wet. I hope. Be careful now. I now place an ordinary drinking glass in the hat and pour some water in the glass. Hey, look out. I now remove the glass from the hat and keep right on pouring. Hey, watch out. I now put the glass back in the hat. Make sure I have all the water. Remove the glass. Presto! I, uh, I wonder how he did that. Let's see, he took an ordinary water glass uh -huh. and he put it inside the hat, right? Then he poured in some water. Then he took out the glass and he kept pouring. Presto! Oh, here. Yeah. Guess I must have done something wrong. <laughs> Going, Topper. Hello, man. George, why the suitcase? Uh, Henrietta and I are moving into a hotel. See if we can find another house. Oh. We, we just couldn't put up with it. You, you understand. Oh, we understand. Um, until we um, find another place, you couldn't come along, I, I suppose. Against the rules. Yeah. Uh, I was afraid of that. Well, you're stuck with the newbies. I, uh, may I say that I, I'm very fond of you, both. Oh, George, this is ridiculous. We've got to do something. Like what? Oh, I don't know. I'll think of something this time. Come on, let's find Neil. Oh. Ready to go, Cosmo? No, I'll put you out. Welcome to stay as long as you want to, you know. Chest out, chin in, man. I, I, I think we'll be happier in a hotel. Come, Cosmo. What was that? I have no idea. It's termites, Papa. Uh, termites. Termites? Do you mean to say that that horrible noise is termites? Papa, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, you, you won't notice them after a while. I never noticed them before at all. No. Uh, see, what did I tell you? Well, it's incredible that termites could make that kind of a racket. Oh, we, we raise them from little nippers. It's all in the feeding, you know. Now you're with it, Topper. Go to work, George. Incredible. Utterly incredible. Cosmo, you never told me about this. Well, it hardly pays to advertise, dear. I don't believe it. But... Uh, Quite a vibration when they really get working. What in this whole house is nothing but a hollow shell. Aren't we lucky to have sold it, Cosmo? Oh, no, you don't. I'm stopping payment on my check and taking my family out of here. Strange, Cosmo. A grown man being afraid of termites. Not officer material, I'd say. There is termites, Topper. <laughs> Very ingenious. Uh, of course, we had to dip the bones in bourbon. I hope you don't mind. Uh, have I told you that I'm very fond of you? All three. by John W. Lupton. A John W. Lupton, Bernard L. Schubert production. Starring Anne Jeffries, Robert Sterling, and Leo G. Carroll.